good evening. If you have your Bibles, turn to the book of Acts, chapter 7. Book of Acts, chapter 7. <coughs> beautiful day that God's gave. I hope you've already prayed. Bless him more. If you found your place, Acts chapter 7, we want to start reading in verse 54. Acts chapter 7, starting in verse 54. Scripture says, when they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God, and said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord, and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep ask if you would to bow your heads Lord uh, again we thank you for your precious word yes. and, uh, Lord help us to not add to and to not take away from but Lord you just deliver what needs said tonight Father yes. and encourage where we need to encourage right. convict where we need to convict yes. and Lord if there be a need of burden let it be brought into you Father again we thank you we praise you and we ask these things in Christ's name and Amen Amen, amen. Are you able to see Jesus? Are you able to see Jesus? Uh, however, there's a lot of ways that you can go with this text, yeah, that's but that's right. the way he's went tonight. Is yeah. are you able to see Jesus? Uh, at this point, <laughs> there's a lot of things Stephen could have been looking at, Joe. <laughs> he could have been looking at all the people that was uh, uh, coming at him. They had gnawed at him, okay? Uh, he could have been looking at all the rocks and stuff that was coming. He could have been looking out for help from someone, from uh, some fellow disciples, some friends. But you see, the only thing that he sees is Christ. Amen. He's able to see Jesus. It said that he looked to heaven and it said that he saw the Son of God standing on the right hand. Yes. Okay? And uh, Hubert would always emphasize this. Others have emphasized yes. this. Listen, uh, evidently Stephen was pretty important, Bill, yeah. because he stood Stop. up. <laughs> Amen. Because we know that he's seated at the right hand yes. of God. Amen. Now, Mike, I don't know if he stands up for everybody, right. uh, but for Stephen at least, yeah. he stood up, Amen. and he was able to see him standing up, okay? Yeah. But folks, are we able to see Jesus? Yeah. Are we able to see Jesus? And uh, we live in a time where uh, it's a common refrain, Harley, that, you know, well, things just aren't the way they used to be, okay? Church will never be like it used to be back when, okay? And uh, Bill, I'm I'm in a unique position. Okay, at 54, uh, I've lived with a lot of people's parents yeah. and grandparents that aren't here now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also here with their kids and their grandkids or their great grandkids. Right. And uh, there are those that would look and say, "Well, I'll never be like Grandpa so and so. I'll never be like Mom. I'll never be like Dad." Folks, listen, uh, the only person that's keeping you from doing that is you. Yeah. Right, that's right. Is you, okay? Yeah. You know why? Because people aren't able to see Jesus 
because of all the distractions now. Yeah, right, okay. right. You want to know what the difference between you and grandma and great grandpa was? They didn't let distractions no. stop them from seeing Jesus. Amen. Okay. Amen. Well, now, Doug, that's your opinion. No, you all know me better than that, right? <laughs> Hebrews 12, 1. It says, therefore, seeing we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, yes. let us lay aside every weight yes. and the sin which does so easily beset us, yes. and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, yes. looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Okay. So listen, uh, there, there's your proof, okay? Doug wasn't just making that up, that right. Christ was sitting down at one point and then stood up, okay? Uh, Hebrews tells us that, yes, right? right. Uh, but folks, seeing we're compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, mm -hmm. you go back to chapter 11, the faith chapter. Right. Now faith is substance things so for the evidence of things not seen. Right. For by it the elders obtained a good report. And then he goes in the rest of the chapter, Harley, he lists those elders. Yes. Amen. He lists those elders that obtained the good report. And folks, yes. listen, uh, we can name off yes. names, okay? Yes. Uh, we can start off with Hubert and Leola That's and right. Ron and Betty and sure. Uh, sure. Jim and Alma Kinder sure. and uh, Lawrence and yeah. all of these people that are, are going, Bill. Yeah. That's right. And uh, again, we could tell their descendants, uh, some of them's in church, some of them's not in church, yes, okay? Right. And uh, listen, uh, the cold truth is, guess what? There's no difference between you and them. Yeah, right. The difference is, guess what? They didn't get distracted, Mike. Right, that's right. They didn't get distracted. Guess Amen. what? They had problems too. Sure, sure. They had difficulties thing that come up in their life too. Yes. But they didn't get distracted. They kept right. their eyes on Christ. Amen. They were able to see Jesus, and now guess what? Uh, squirrel. Yes. Amen. That's right. <laughs> squirrel. Mary Kay disease. She went to the bathroom, so she can't say I talked about it, right? <laughs> Listen, that that's the way most church people are now, Joe. Amen. Amen. Squirrel. Yes. And then I, I I'm off kilter. Yeah. And then the next thing saying to guess what? I'm not even in church. Yes, that's right. Amen. And then they'll sit and tell me about their, their ancestors. Yeah. And, and Sandy, it, not only this church, I could go home and sure. it'd be the same thing. Yes, that's right. I could go to any other church, Harley, right. and it'd be the same thing. Yes. Listen, the only difference between you and your ancestors yes. is you've let everything distract right. you. Amen. Amen. You've stopped seeing Christ. Yes. But are, you, are we able to see Jesus? Listen, folks, you've got to be able to see Jesus. And you got to be able to see him in the fire. You got to be able to see him in the fire. Yes, okay? yes, yes. Uh, not after the fire. Right. Not before the fire. You got to be able to see him in the fire. Yes. Okay. Yes. Again, Daniel chapter three. I know you all know it. Okay. Bless him. Uh, they throw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego yeah. in the in the fiery furnace, mm -hmm. and again they're bound. Yeah. And uh, Nebuchadnezzar looks and he's surprised. Said, "Listen, did we not throw three men in?" Yeah. Yeah, King, we threw three men in. Well, lo, I see four men, <laughs> yeah. and they're loose and walking around. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Amen. Okay? Uh, listen, you got to have faith to see Christ in the fire. Yes. We, we, we read through that, Bill, and we kind of just assumed that they just placed them in, and they stood there, and all of a sudden uh, Christ come and let them loose. No, guess what? <laughs> they was on the ground. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Harley, they was tied up. They couldn't yes. move. That's right. And your last thought when they threw them in was probably, ooh, this is going to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been my thought. Yeah, bless you. This is going to hurt. But then while they're laying on the ground, Bill, they see somebody coming. Yeah. They see somebody coming. Yeah. And I don't know if he come down and untied them or if he, he did like a the Jedi mind trick, Bill, and just, <laughs> and they come loose. But Mike, yeah. they saw him in the fire, Amen. and they got up, and guess what? Because they saw him in the fire, who else saw him? Yes. Nebuchadnezzar. Amen. That's right. And folks, that's where a lot of people, they don't get it now. Your loved ones and your neighbors and friends, they'll never see Christ until they see you yes. seeing Christ right. Amen. in the midst of the fire, Amen. in the midst of the trouble, in the midst of the trial, okay? Yes. 
But you got to be able to see Jesus in the fire. Listen, uh, again, at, at this last point in his life, there's all kinds of things Stephen could have looked for. Yeah. But he looked for Christ. Amen. 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 We got to be able to see Christ in the fire. Yes, yes. We got to be able to see Christ in the fire. You got to be able to see Jesus in the storm. Yeah, yeah. You got to be able to see Jesus in the storm. Right. They've got this series of commercials now. You all probably seen them. Uh, that it starts with something and then it ends. He gets us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then talks about Jesus. Yeah. And, uh, Folks, listen, he, he gets us. Yeah. He does get us. And guess what? He gets us in the storm. Yes, amen. He gets us in the storm. But you got to see him in the storm. Yes, that's right. But people don't like storms. Bill, you're just a freak. I'm telling you, man. Nobody likes to go out and, <laughs> and sit on the porch and, and watch the storms come in. Most people's uh, inside uh, in the middle of the house, okay? But uh, that's good that you're able to look in the storm. As Christians, yeah. we need to be able to see Christ in the storm. Amen. Amen. We need to be able to see him in the storm. Uh, Matthew 15, I believe. Uh, again, you all know the story. He, he's uh, put the disciples on the boat. He's went off to pray. Uh, he comes back, and uh, the storm is raging. They see him walking on the water, and they believe he's a spirit. And they get scared. And he says, uh, be not afraid, it is I. Yeah, right. Be not afraid, it is I. In other words, says, listen, look at me. Yeah. Don't look at the storm. Yes. Okay? Yes, that's right. And again, after this, right, Peter says, listen, Lord, if it's you, yes. bid me come. Yes. And he says, come. But hardly at no point during this does he stop the storm. We forget about this as we read through this. At no point does he stop the storm. Yes. He says, listen, you've got to see me during the storm. Right, that's right. And Peter gets out, and guess what? He walks on water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. It says he walked on water. That's right. But when he saw the wind boisterous. Yes, yes. And the waves begin to, to crash. Yes said that he began to sink and uh, he called out Jesus save me. Right. Right. Folks listen. You got to be able to see Jesus in the storm. Yes. Amen. For a minute Joe, guess what? Peter saw him in the storm. Yeah. But when his eyes got off of Christ, yes. He began to sink. Yes. Folks, there's no difference between Peter and everybody that's caught out of church, Bill. That's right. Today. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever church they've been in, listen, yes. there is no difference between them and Peter. Right. That's right. Harley, uh, the, the basic problem is still there. They've took their eyes off of Jesus. Amen. Amen. They've took their eyes off of Jesus. Folks, listen, you've got to be able to see Christ in the storm. Because mm -hmm. guess what? The storm doesn't stop until he puts Peter back in the boat. Yeah. Yes. When they get back in the boat, that's when the storm stops. Mm -hmm. But folks, you've got to be able to see Jesus in the storm. There are people that they just can't see Jesus in the storm. Yeah, that's right. The storm overwhelms them. Yes. That they're they're worrying about the waves. They're right. worrying about the wind. They're worrying about everything that's raging around them. Yeah. And folks, listen. If you can't find the calm in the storm, yes, yes, you're never going to make it. Right. That's right. You're never going to make it. Uh, Bill, when I used to watch Deadliest Catch on Discovery, yeah. uh, it's kind of like the mines. you you got to either be a Christian or you got to drink. That's the only way that you can do that job. <laughs> oh, that's what I used to tell people. I, I don't know how Dad and some of them guys could go two miles underground. You either got to be a Christian or you got to drink because they, they, there's no other way to, to get around that, okay? But them people on them boats, Bill, yeah. uh, and it's not like they're making this up. They're filming yes. this raging storm while they're fishing, yes. while they're working, okay? You've got to be calm during the storm to get through that. Folks, listen, when it comes to life, you've got to be calm during the storm because there's going to be storms, yes. okay? Yes, amen. If Satan doesn't ever put a storm in your life, then again, 
you're not a threat to him. That's right. <laughs> he's not worried about you. That's right. Because if he's not stirring anything up, then guess yes. what? Yes. You planted at the house so often, Bill, that he doesn't have to worry about you ever leaving. That's right. That's right. Amen. But folks, you got to be able to see Jesus in the storm. Yes. You got to be able to see him in the storm. Okay. You got to be able to see Jesus to understand who it is that you're fighting against. Yeah. You got to be able to see Jesus to understand who it is you're fighting against. Uh, again, Acts chapter nine. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Saul is well intentioned. Yes. Okay. Yes. He thinks, listen, I've got to stop this Christianity yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. This Jesus thing, we've got to shut this down. Okay. Mm -hmm. He goes to Damascus with papers and authority. That, you know what? Listen, if I find any of these Christians there, I can bring them back and put them in jail, Harley. Right. But on the road to Damascus again, he sees the light. Yes. He's brought to his knees, and again, he hears Christ. And says, Lord, who art thou? Uh, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Yes. Listen, Saul, it's not Peter and James that you're fighting. Right. It's not the other disciples that you're fighting. <coughs> yes. It's not uh, uh, these other people that you're fighting. It's me. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what people today, they've got to be able to see it's Jesus who they're fighting. It's not you all. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's not mommy and daddy. Right. It's not their brothers and sisters. It's not their friends. Uh, it's not the preacher. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Amen. It's not the preacher. Listen, you want to come and argue, <laughs> we'll come argue after church. You'll lose. Bless you, man. <laughs> Boy, you're vain, Doug. <laughs> No, I'm saved. Amen. Bless him. And I've been saved, Joe, long enough to know that, you know, the answer's here. That's right. Amen. The answer's here. Amen. And whatever argument you want to give. Bless him. Sandy, one of your close relatives, used to like to argue with me downstairs. <laughs> until I would show him the answer and then he would stop arguing, okay? Yeah. Folks, listen, you gotta understand who it is you're fighting against. Yes. Mm -hmm. they're, they're people that they're just angry and they think it's their spouse's fault, It's the, they think that it's their kid's fault or whatever. No, you're fighting against Christ. Yes, you're not fighting against the church, you're not fighting against the preacher, you're not fighting against family. Yes. You're fighting against Christ. Right. And you got to be able to see and understand who it is that you're fighting against. Yes. Okay? But being able to see Jesus, okay? Being able to see Jesus. Uh, folks, the sad thing is, you know, even today, even in church, even with other Christians, sometimes Christ gets lost. Yeah. Yeah. Even today in church, sometimes Amen. Christ gets lost, okay? Uh, well, Doug, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean, there are people that they go to church, and again, they're so focused on this and uh, all this stuff that's going on. Oh, there's some places that, you know what, uh, there's more announcements yeah. than there is scripture. Amen. That's right. No, amen or else. Yes. <laughs> okay. There's more announcements. Uh, there, there's more stuff than there is actual scripture. Right, right. Folks, listen, Christ gets lost. Yes, and they can't, they can't see him even in church, right. okay? Right. Uh, even with other Christians sometimes, yeah. they are so focused on this and that yeah. that they forget, guess what? Uh, the focus is supposed to be on Christ. Yes, amen. amen. And we referenced this this morning. Uh, you know, Matthew 17, when he goes to the mount with Peter and James yeah. and John, and they see Moses and Elijah, and again, and Peter says, listen, good for us to be here. We, yeah. we ought to build a tabernacle for each one of you. Yeah. And it said that a voice come from heaven and said, listen, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Right. Hear ye him. Amen. And it said that they got scared and they bowed down and that Christ come over to them and touched them. Yeah. And it said that when they looked up, they saw no man except Jesus. Right. Right. Okay? Uh, Folks, sometimes we need to learn hard lessons, okay? 
sometimes we need to get spanked and sometimes yeah. we we need to get preached to yes amen. okay amen. and uh when peter says this again bill he has good intentions but he doesn't understand what he's saying that's right okay and guess what christ has got lost yes he's just become part of the crowd yes right. he's just become like elijah and moses yeah. Again, not that Elijah and Moses wasn't important. Right, right. But what did God say? Yes. This is my beloved son. Hear ye him. Amen. Amen. And so when they look up, they only see Christ. Yes. They only see Christ. But folks, even in church today, Christ gets lost. Yes. That's right. Amen. He gets lost. He gets lost in the program. He gets yeah. lost in the uh, we're doing this and we're doing that activity and whatever. Folks, listen, every time we come to church, you ought to be able to see Christ. Amen. You ought to be able to see Jesus. Amen. Okay? If you can't see Jesus at church, yeah. there's a problem. That's right. Amen. There's a problem. But are we able to see Jesus? Okay, listen. Even, even today, he gets lost at places, okay? But being able to see Christ, being able to see Jesus, okay? Folks, listen, you have to be able to see Jesus on the cross yeah that's right you have yeah. to be able to see jesus on the cross okay yes. now you can come and you come to church and you see you see a picture of him here okay you see a picture of him over here you see a picture of him over there okay uh there are people that they went to church today and they saw a statue of christ sandy mm -hmm. yeah. out in front of the the church building or whatever that's right but folks, you have to see Christ on the cross. You have to see Christ on the cross. Uh, John three fourteen, when he's talking to Nicodemus, around verse fourteen, uh, it says, "Even as uh, Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up." Okay. You go back to Numbers twenty one, I think. As part of a punishment. God had sent serpents into the midst of the Israelite camp. And there were several that had been bitten. And the only way that they could be healed was Moses was told to uh, build this bronze, this brazen serpent, Mike, and put it on a pole. And he would set the pole up, and all those that had been bent were to look up at the, at the bronze serpent. Okay. And if they looked up at the bronze serpent, they were healed. Okay. Even as Moses lifted up the serpent in Numbers 21, he says, So must, again, that's one of those little words yes. that you need to pay attention to in the verse. Right. So must the Son of Man be lifted up. Yeah. Folks, listen, you have to see Christ on the cross. Amen. If you don't see Christ on the cross, then he's just another good man. Yeah, that's right. Amen. He's just that babe in a manger. He's just that babe in a manger. And, and folks, again, there are all kinds of people. Uh, <coughs> some of them are Christians. Some of them are Harley. But I guarantee you, come Christmas, they will have a manger scene. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They will. At their house. That's right. Okay? And folks, listen, that's good. It's good to see that. Okay? But if that's all he is to you, is just a manger scene, mm -hmm. then he's never going to be the Savior. That's right. That's right. You've got to get him out of the manger and get him on the cross. Because guess what? On the cross is where the, the cost was paid. On the cross is where the cost was paid. Listen. Salvation is free to us, but it cost Jesus something. Amen. What did it cost him? His life? Amen. Folks, listen. You have to see Christ on the cross. Otherwise, he's just a, another good man. He's yes. just another uh, concept. He's just another teacher. And folks, again, there are people, they will have a manger scene. They will send out Christmas cards, Harley. Yeah. That will, will have uh, beautiful pictures on yeah. them. Scripture. Yeah. 
quoted the scripture on it. That's right. And Bill, some of these people ain't been to church for years. That's right. That's right. Yes. Folks, listen. If you're not able to see Christ on the cross, he's just this this concept. That's right. You have to be able to see him on the cross. Okay. They had to see that serpent yes. to be healed. Right. You have to see Christ on the cross yes. to be healed. Yes, I do. Otherwise, then guess what? Yeah. Practice Confucianism. Yeah. Practice Buddhism. Practice whateverism. That's right. Because that's all it is. Yes. But you got to see Christ on the cross. Yes. Amen. Amen. The Son of Man must, must be lifted up. Right. right? And how many times they remind them as they travel to Jerusalem, listen, yes. I have to do this. That's right. I am going yes. to be killed. I'm going to lay down my life, yeah. and then three days later, I'm going to raise it up again. Right, right. But folks, listen, the cross has to happen. Yes. It has to happen. It's not optional. That's right. Okay? Well, you can preach love, joy, and peace all you want, but folks, love, joy, and peace, <laughs> Sandy, come, because yes. he was willing to put up with hate, Amen. <laughs> discontent, yes. Yes. and rejection. Yes. Folks, you got to see Christ on the cross. You got to see Christ on the cross. Okay, now I'm going to say something. You're going to say, "Well, you're just contradicting yourself, Doug." <laughs> Guess what? Then you got to see him off the cross. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yes. first we've got to see him on the cross, yes. but then guess what? You got to take him off the cross. Yeah. You got to take him out of the tomb. Yes. Okay. You got to be able to see Christ out of out of the, the tomb, yes. okay? And again, John chapter 20, he's already appeared to the 10, and it said that he appeared again, and this time Thomas was present. And he said, listen, Thomas, it's me. <laughs> Look at my hands, take yes. your finger, yeah. and run it through my hand, okay? Take your hand and put it in my side, right. where, where they put the spear. But be not be be not faithless, but believing. Amen. And it said, Thomas said, "My Lord and my God." Amen. That's right. He and uh, Sandy uh, told the others, "said Listen, until I touch it, yes, until I feel the scars, yes. I won't believe." Yes. But hardly he didn't have to feel them. That's right. right. Amen. When he saw them, yes. when he heard Christ, he get, said, "Guess what? Uh, yeah, he's off the cross, yes. and he's out of the tomb." Yes. He's off the cross and he's out of the tomb. Yes. But folks, what we want to get to is what Christ tells him after that. Yes, yes. He says, my Lord and my God. He says, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, yes. thou hast believed. Yes. But blessed are those that have not seen me and yet believe. Amen. Amen. Joe, listen, we never saw him. That's right. After he come off the cross. Right. We never saw him before he went on the cross. Right. But you know what? Yes. We believe yes. from the beginning of Matthew until the end of Matthew, Harley, we believe. Mm -hmm. I believe he was the babe in the manger. Yes. I believe he was the child that was left behind at 12. Yes. Yes. I believe at 30 he was the one that began his ministry. I believe at 33 and a half or thereabout that guess what? They come and they beat him beyond a beating that had never been given. Right. And they hunt him upon an old rugged cross. Yes. And hardly guess what? I believe that three days later, yes. he rose again. Amen. And 40 days after that, they guess what? He ascended back to the Father. Yes. And that he sits at the right hand making intercession for me and for you. Amen. Amen. And not only that, Mike, but you know what? I believe he's coming again. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. I believe he's coming again. Folks, if you don't believe that, then guess what? He's just a martyr. Yeah, right. That's right. If you don't, yes. If you're not able to see Christ off of the cross, then guess what? He's just a martyr. Yes, that's right. He's more than a martyr. Yes. He's a risen Savior. Amen. 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 He's a risen Savior. Yes. But folks, listen. You got to see him on the cross. Guess what? You got to see him after the cross. Yes. And you got to be able to see Christ. You got to be able to see Jesus to see the light. Yes. 
Yes. You got to be able to see Jesus, see the light. Uh, John 8, 12, and then we'll quit. It said that Jesus said unto them, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not dwell in darkness, uh, but shall have the, the light of life. Amen. Okay? Folks, if you don't see Jesus, you're not going to be able to see light. Yeah. That's, right. That's right. You're not going to be able to see light. Okay? You know why people now are depressed? Doug, you're turning into Dr. Phil again. <laughs> Folks, it, it's real easy. Why are people depressed now? Because they can't see Christ. Right. Amen. 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 Why? Why are they depressed? Because everything has went dark. Yeah. Everything has went dark. Okay. When you're not able to see Jesus, guess what? There's no light at the end of the tunnel. Sure. Right. right. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. And again, I'm not saying that there's not things that should make us sad, but folks, listen. There is nothing in this life. That's going to depress me to the point that I'm not going to be able to see Jesus. Right, right. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Bill, there are people that, and I'm not saying that they don't need help, but folks, listen, depression should never happen. Right, right. Only depression should never happen. Okay. You know why? Because guess what? I can look around and guess what? Bill, I'm not the only person here whose dad died. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Folks, you're not the only person here who, whose mom's died. You're not the only person here whose siblings died. That's right. You're not the only person whose child's died. And again, you can go with whatever. Uh, listen, I've lost my job. Yeah. Folks, I hate to tell you, look, <laughs> there's a lot of people that's lost a job yes, that's right. in the course of their lifetime. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I've lost, my, I've lost my spouse. I've lost my marriage. Folks, again, <laughs> yeah. Sandy, 50%. Yeah, that's right. 50%, sure. okay. We're doing the marriage this coming uh, weekend, and guess what? That's going to determine where the tide. <laughs> We're batting 500, Sandy. We married one that they're still going, and we married one that, guess what? Yeah. It ended. Yeah. And it wasn't the fault of the groom. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. But, folks, listen. We get in our minds that this is the only thing. I'm the only one that's going through this. Folks, look around. Yeah, that's right. You don't have to go outside your family. Right. You don't have to go outside your church. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go outside your neighborhood mm -hmm. to find people that are in the same place. But same, here's the problem. There are people that they once they, they got this problem, mm -hmm. they stopped seeing Jesus. Amen. And guess what? The darkness yes. mm -hmm. yes. just overwhelmed them. Right. 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 The Amen. darkness overwhelmed them. Folks, listen. When you see Jesus, you see light. Yes, amen. You see light. You know why you see light? Read Revelation. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> He's the switch for heaven. Yes. Amen. <laughs> amen. You read Revelation. It said there's no need of the sun or moon, right. Mike, that he'll he'll be the light thereof. Amen. His glory. Yes. But there are people that they have become so depressed in life. Because they've stopped seeing Christ. And when you stop seeing Jesus, guess what? Everything gets dark. Yes, that's right. right. It is depressing. Yes. <coughs> it is sad. But folks, when you can still see Christ, then guess what? There's light at the end of the tunnel. Amen. But are you able to see Jesus? Folks, that's the question. Are you able to see Jesus tonight? Bill, get us a song. Bless him, Lord. <coughs> folks, if you have a need, the altar's open. Page 209. Kneel at the cross. Christ will meet you there. Come while he waits for you. Listen to his voice. Lead within your care. And begin 
Again, Wednesday night prayer meeting, children's church and youth group. So remember that. Uh, the 15th again will be homecoming. So keep that on your calendar. Any other announcements? Again, I pray everybody enjoys the week God has for you. Listen to that other Doug. I think it's going to be a little cooler this week, so hopefully. <laughs> this Doug ain't saying it's going to be cooler. It may be hotter for you. I don't know. But uh, according to Doug Harlow, it's going to be a little cooler this week. So. All right. Well, if nothing else. Uh, Harley, dismiss. Amen. Yeah.